we're back in the attic. We got no heat call. This American Standard is not heating, but it's blowing air. No call for heat, no call for fan, but the fan's running. So let's see what's going on. So here we go. All right, we're checking our uh, error code here. Seems like it's a steady flash. So let's see what's going on with that. I'm checking W and C and I got no voltage. So there's currently no call. Inducer's running, blower's running, call the rollout. Nope. That's interesting. So we have a steady flash. According to this, that means normal, no call for heat. The blower just shut off on me. The inducer's still going. Let's go ahead and kill low voltage, reset the board, see what it does. Okay, so I've unplugged the transformer from the board. The inducer's still running. Let me check the voltage on this. So I think the board might be bad. Okay, so I have the thing unplugged and it still has voltage. So we may have a board problem. So I've removed, I've restored high voltage I had no call, but the inducer keeps running. Um, I've reset the board. It was giving me normal. Now I'm calling for heat and I'm getting a flash code. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. All right, so we're getting three flashes. So that pressure switch error. Yeah, so something's going on here. I think the board's messed up because this shouldn't be going. Let's see if we can turn anything else on. I'm gonna try a cycling fan. The fan seems to be good. Let's see if we can energize air conditioning. All right, we're gonna see if these pressure switches are closing just to make sure they're good. But I suspect the board's messed up, so it's just giving me a pressure switch error because um, the pressure switch is closed on startup. So generally it's going to be open, so it's going to wait. It's going to detect it's open, it's going to close, and then it's going to be okay. But if it starts up the inducer and it's already closed, it's going to give you pressure switch error. Since this is running nonstop, I suspect that the relay that controls that in the board is stuck closed. So we're going to go ahead and try tapping on some stuff, see if we can tap it loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have this unplugged and then I'm gonna call for heat and then I'm gonna close it and then see if it continues. If it does, then that means our pressure switch is good. Okay, we don't have an error code. Now it kicked on. So our pressure switch is good. It's just the board's messed up. So we can go ahead and make sure it fires, make sure there's no other issues. Okay, so the furnace went through the entire sequence, so the relay for the inducer is bad, so we're going to have to replace the whole board, unfortunately. At least now I know the rest of it's working, so. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the call. Burners are out. Oh, it looks like I got the relay unstuck because the inducer shut off. So let's go ahead and try to cycle it again. Okay, inducer's off. I'm going to go ahead and call for heat. I'm going to remove the call for heat. It appears to have shut off. Yep. All right, cool. So I must have knocked it loose, but it'll probably get stuck again, so I'm still going to recommend changing the board. So I'm going to get an amp draw on that just to make sure there's no issues. All right, 0.35 amps. All right. So we're going to get the model information and see about getting that board replaced.